What if I told you that there may be trillions of particles going through your body right now and you can't see it, hear it, or touch it? And these particles are so vast that they compose more than six times all the visible matter that you can see in the universe. Six times all the stars, galaxies, planets, gases, and even radiation. And not only can we not see them with our own eyes, we cannot detect it with any of our instruments. So how the heck do we know that it's even there? I'll explain that in the next three minutes. In the late 1970s, an astronomer by the name of Vera Rubin, who happened to be a female in a male-dominated profession, was studying a mundane area of astronomy that no one else seemed to be interested in at the time. She was looking at the motion of stars in the spiral portions of the Andromeda Galaxy, a neighbor of our own Milky Way galaxy. What she found shocked scientists it seemed to violate Newton's law of gravitation, which had been established as scientific fact for the prior 300 years. Her observation showed that the stars in the outer rim of the spiral arms were moving at about the same velocity as the stars in the inner part of the spiral arm. This violates Newton's law of universal gravitation, which should govern both the motion of stars and galaxies, as well as the motion of planets around the sun. The equations dictate that the further away an object is from its center of mass, the lower the force of gravity and the slower the object rotates around it. Stars closer to the center must travel faster than those away from the center. Otherwise, the stars would fly away from their orbits around the galaxy. This is easy to see in the motion of all the planets in our own solar system, which follow Newton's laws pretty much to the letter. If the planets around our own sun traveled in the same fashion, our solar system would fall apart. Vera Rubin found that the motion of the stars was not as it should be. And since then, scientists have found that the stars in all observable galaxies, including our own Milky Way, move in the same perplexing fashion. The only possible way that the stars and galaxies can move this way is if there was a lot more mass in the arms of the galaxies than we can see. The only problem was, and continues to be today, 40 years later, is that we cannot see any of this matter. It emits no light, no radiation of any sort, and it does not appear to interact in any way with ordinary matter, except through gravity. It only emits gravity. We can observe the behavior of stars and the bending of light due to the immense gravity of this unknown substance. An unknown in physics is usually labeled dark, hence, this is why the substance is called dark matter. And it turns out that this dark matter has at least six times as much gravity as all the observable and detectable matter in the universe. So the vast majority of the matter in the universe is dark, dark matter. About 85% of all the matter is dark matter. And it cannot be seen or detected. We are blind to it. The things we can see is like the foam on top of the waves of the ocean. When you combine dark matter with dark energy, which I talk about in another video, it turns out that we can only see about 4% of the stuff of the universe. 96% of the stuff of the universe is made of dark energy and dark matter, and we cannot see any of it. So we are living in the mere foam of the waves of the ocean, which is the real universe. Arvinash here. If you like this video, please support us by subscribing and sharing this video with every single one of your friends so that we can continue to bring you great content.